Hi, welcome everyone to another episode of League Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. Today is a special day for us. It's our one month anniversary for the channel. Thank you guys for your support and your feedback over the one month. And I hope that you guys enjoy the journey with me. Be sure to drop a like for this video, leave your comments down below and subscribe for more and follow me on my Facebook. So there is another announcement that I'd like to make is that we will have a new game for this channel. So be sure to stay tuned for the channel and follow me on Facebook for more uploads and updates. So I'm trying to build a gaming community for you guys so we can have more interaction and events and some giveaway. So do feel free to drop your comments on what kind of other games you'd like me to play to have some interaction with you. So without further ado, let's move on to today's content. So basically today I'm showing you the dueling top tier deck as of today, 18th of December. So we have Cyber Angel, Ninja, Red Eye Zombie, Gladiator Beast, Hazy Frame. So I will touch on the pros and cons later. So let's move on to the individual one. Okay, okay, let's go. So the first deck that we're gonna feature is Cyber Mind Scan, which is Cyber Angel. As you can see from the deck list, we have three Dikini, which is the core of the card. So what does this card does is that if I summon it on the field, I can remove one monster from the opponent field by the player choice which is very very OP and I can inflict piercing damage to the opponent and every end turn I'm able to recover one resources back to my hand reach a monster or uh, machine injured reacher so next we have cyber injured in the tank so this guy, what does this guy does? If it is summer on the field, I can mill up one Reacher spell cut from my deck, or if it's treated as a tribute, I can have my other Reacher monster on the field to gain thousand attack and defense, which is easily make my Dikini to turn three thousand seven hundred attack, OP to the max. So next we have Benten. So what does this cut does? If I use this as a tribute resources and it's sent to the graveyard, then I can manage to mill out any richer monster. So I can mill out Richard Dikini, I can mill up Cyber Angel Ether 10 or more Ben 10 or Senju or Angel PRT Angel. So we have two Senju to mill up more of the Cyber Angel monster, two Sony Bird to mill up the Reacher cards and Cyber PAT Angel to meet up the Reacher monster and Machine Angel Reacher. So we have three of Machine Angel Absolute Reacher card. So what does this card does is that I can use this to Reacher summon any Cyber Angel Reacher monster, and I can use it on the graveyard as well. So if let's say I want to sub, uh, summon a Dikini, if I have a either 10 on the field and a PAT Angel in my graveyard, I can use this. So on the field, on the graveyard, give me the Kini. And because of its either 10 effect as a tribute resources, my Dikini goes to 3700 attack. So juicy. One anti-magic arrow because this is very useful against, you know, some milling deck, but that you do not want to go against the uh, set spell and trap. So with AMA, it allows you to do that, neglect all the spell and trap card. 2 Econ basically is for mirror match, as you will want to have to protect your monster. So 2 enemy controller and also in case of break, so at least it's safe your turn. Machine Angel Reacher, so this guy, this Reacher card allows you to uh, summon the Kini by using 6 plus 6, 6 plus 4 or 6 plus 2 or 4 plus 4 and if this is used and is in your graveyard it can protect your Reacher monster from get destroyed in battle or by card effect so pretty OP 
So without further ado, let's go on to the highlight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned till the end of the video because we have a tons of spicy juicy match and the introduction of top tier deck which is beneficial for amateur, beginner and mastery player. Do drop a like, subscribe for more. So the first game is against I would say a Phoenix deck plus Red Eye Zombie, I'm not too sure. So I start off with Piety Angel because I'm not too sure what is he is so I have to have two monsters on my field to protect myself. So I made up Inter 10, the combo, Ben 10, Inter 10. So I use Machine Angel Reacher to summon up my Inter 10 with both effects activated. I will get up a Reacher spell and a Reacher monster or Sanju, which is a light monster, very light. So Sanju to meet up more cards in the next turn, I'm preparing for my next stage. So he used a Yasha, so okay, Phoenix big down, fine. So I send you, get out in the 10, I want to OTK him now. I use Machine Angel Absolute Reacher, 8 equals to 8 tribute. Use his effect to remove it all face down, but I end my turn. Oh god, what a theater am I. Okay, I get back one of my Dikini as my uh, end game effect. So Gonzuki is out, oh god, why is this guy even playing? So I use enemy controller, luckily I set it, turn it to face down. I use the Kini effect because I want to have some piercing damage but Baker Saber stop neglect my attack. So I use Sanju destroy it in the to have some damage on him and me up more cards to have the next cycle but he give up. So that's why this deck is very 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 OP. So let's look at the tier 1. Cyber Angel My Scan is easily the tier 1 deck. So what it is pros? OTK, 1 turn kill, easily. Removal effect, by the Kini effect you are able to remove one monster of the opponent. Overpower with 2700 attack, with potential 3700 attack by either 10 effect. Fast summoning effect, because as you can see in turn 3, I have 3 monsters on the field. Too fast, too furious, yummy and juicy. So what is the cons? No back row. Um, basically having just a con. So I have no back row to protect my monster. And I can't withstand long duel because I will basically wear out all my resources in the graveyard. So I can't deal with long duel. And I'm weak against opponent with early econ and floodgate because at a later video you will see a uh, econ play against a uh, cyber angel player. So against early opponent with Econ and Flight Gate, this deck kind of tiered a bit. But it's still definitely the top tier one deck. A lot of people wanted to nerf the Kini, but I would say no to it because I think the Kini is manageable. It's not say it's not unwinnable. It can win, definitely, by watching my video. So let's move on to the next deck, the Ninja Brother, the Paradox Brother. So the PN Brothers, so introducing Ninja Brothers, this is in one of my video that I make. I will leave the link at the end of the video, so if you miss out that video, feel free to click it and watch it. So Black Dragon Ninja, so this guy is the bitter, 2800 attack. So what does this card does? It allows you to banish your monster for another turn attack or banish opponent monster for an easy opening attack. So Red Dragon Ninja, its effect is that if it's a uh, tribute summon or normal summon to the field, if I have any ninja monster or trap spell card in the graveyard, I can banish one and can pick any face down monster spell trap card and take a look at it and just put it on the top or the bottom of the deck. So pretty OP. Mars Ninja Libisu, 1800 defense. So basically you can put it in face down and there is a lot of level 4 monster can't attack it. So on the next turn if you have another ninja monster side by side with him, you are able to remove two 
set, spell and trap card your opponent control back to their hand. Re but remember that the opponent can activate its effect. Red Dragon Ninja effect can't be activated. So take note of that. But if you have three ninja with the Bishu itself, you can remove three set spell and trap back to their, the owner's hand. So take note of that. Crimson Ninja. So this guy is a level 1 OP card. So its effect is that if I flip summon, I can target one trap card on the field, destroy the target. So it's pretty good in mirror match because mirror match is basically the set trap is all trap card. It's good against wall of disruption, impenetrable attack, mirror wall, massive morph, flood gate, you name it, you got it, all trap, destroy. And next we have senior silver ninja. So basically if you 3 star demotion this card, you want to put it in face down position. So if it's flip up, I can add 2 ninja monster from a hand on, or on the graveyard. So basically I have I can have another thumb of red dragon ninja if it's in my graveyard on my hand or red dragon ninja. So I can swap my front row with a lot of monster. So what does the support card look like? Armor Nijisu Art of Akami. So this card basically, if I control Nijisu Art, destroy all face up Nijisu Art card, I control then draw two cards. So this card is basically milling more cards and giving you more choices in case of break or you know you just want to have some spicy gameplay. And it partners with Nijisu Art Notebook. So in the turn one, if let's say you have a Crimson Ninja in hand and you just like to you know have more choice, so I can throw I can use uh, the Art Notebook effect, uh, throw away Ninja to the graveyard, and I can mill up this Armor Nijisu card and activate this to draw more two cards. So next we have Nijisu Art of Transformation, which allows our monster to do prom gain promotion. Like uh, Ninja Nijisu can be promoted to Red Dragon Ninja, or Black Dragon Ninja, or Red to Red, or Red to Black, or Black to Black back to red so on and so forth <coughs> and next we have ninjutsu art of duplication so this card allows us to have some splitting so if let's say we have a black dragon ninja we can activate duplication to have a six one red dragon ninja and a crimson ninja if let's say we have a red dragon ninja on the field we use duplication we can have a divisu or divisu and two crimson ninja or just duplicate himself but always remember that for great dragon ninja there's a timing that you may miss if let's say you chain your trap card while they pin on your trap card or whatever chain chainable effect and you activate your back row and you summon great dragon ninja you will miss the timing so it effect will be not activated so without further ado let's move on to the highlight Sorry. So it's against Maximilian Pegasus. I think this game the the opponent just got tiered or got break, so he leave. So if you like to uh, watch more action, be sure to wait till the end of the clip. I will put up a link for the video. So and remember to give a like, leave your comments down below, and subscribe and follow me on Facebook for more. So I 3 star demotion because I'm not sure what kind of deck he's playing. If it's against Cyber Angel, I need to banish either Cyber Angel or myself. So I use I have the trap card and the ninja card in my hand. So I can use it in fact. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's gonna be a tier to burn deck. So no biggie, I attack. So he give me more cards, which I don't mind. So next, I banish myself by removing one trap and monster card to go for another attack. But he fragged me, but it's okay. I have Red Dragon Ninja in next turn. I have two trap card. My resources is too much, and he just surrender. So pretty easy. So let's go on. Ninja three star demotion belong to tier one because of his pros, which is OTK. Easily one turn kill. Banishing effect by Red Dragon Ninja. 
overpower with 2800 attack and fast summoning effect because of the trap card and the support you can get a win easily but the cons is low in life point so basically with so much influx of lava golden burn deck you get easily destroyed over rely on internal resources if you break you don't have any internal resources to keep on uh, changing your monster and stuff like that you will lose and super weak against opponent that destroy back row like phoenix or harpy's deck because once your set trap card is all destroyed your monster i would say you know wouldn't be that useful so let's move on to the next deck the tier 2 deck I hope you guys enjoy the video so far. So let's move on to Great Dragon, no, Zombie, Great Eye Zombie. So this deck is in the meta for pretty long, for ages I would say, 3 months. But it's still very good for its effect. So we have 3 Gonzuki, which allows you to mill up any zombie players in your deck. So you would like to mill up Bacon Saber as your turn 1 mill. Sorry. So you would like to mill up Bacon Saber, then followed by Great Eye Zombie Dragon. And if this card is destroyed, I can activate one of its effects by Graveyard to special summon any zombie in my hand. Take note of that. Great Eye Zombie Dragon is your core of the card. 2400 meter. With beat down, it's 2007 on power with the Kini. And next we have Samurai Scar. So this guy's well is a uh, half useful as Gonzuki because it allows you to mill cut as well. So basically you would like to mill out Bacon Saber or Red Eye Zombie Dragon. I have two anti magic arrow because I know that I need to get OTK easily with the little back row help I have. So I have two anti magic arrow to you know just to attack with ease <coughs> and I have three red eye inside to meal out my red eye zombie dragon to the graveyard and get red eye spirit to special summon them three enemy controller against the kini and also to help me when I break so I can have some life point mirror wall just attack card in case I break and you know I need some de defense to Ray Eye Spirit as Konami limited Xin Jiang Hu to lock down his back row. So without further ado, let's move on to the replay. All the deck that I'm showing you is King of Game deck. So just pick one, have fun with it, and let me know in the comments. Definitely there are more to to this list, but I mean I'm a destroyer if you know me well, so I only introduce you the deck for the bitter not for the burn so against an pegasus it's always the mind scan on the ladder so you will get scanned for sure so we started with a very good hand red eye inside to throw zombie in the graveyard red eye zombie me up red eye spirit i use gonzuki effect to use bacon saber to the graveyard to help us here and there and set two cards so no moment of exclamation but no issue i activate my spirit to get my zombie in face defense position remember to always set your card in defense position if you special summon it in the opponent turn because there's a lot of things that can happen they can e contact and otk you right back so make sure of, make be make sure of that defense position so next i just bit down him and merely more cards i left 10 cards in turn 3 i have 3 monster in turn 3 and i otk him in turn 3 easy peasy like a cheesy juicy pie so this is the potential of red eye zombie so let's move on red eye zombie has well significantly dropped from tier 1 to tier, tier 2 deck so the pros is fast summoning effect Take a look at my previous replay, 
3 turn, 3 monster, easy peasy. Number 2, overpower with 2700 attack with beatdown and potential 3300 attack. If you have 3 red eye zombie on the field, it's 3300 attack with beatdown and it's OTK effect. Cons, it has strong brick potential because of the uh, little monster I have that has brick potential and rely on back row against higher monster attack like having Econ against Ninja or Dikini, Miro against Dikini so and so forth and run out of cards really fast because it's all about milling. everything is throw to the graveyard and summon them back or just to get more resources from the deck as you can tell in the previous video in turn 3 I left with 10 cards which is not good for the deck so let's move on to the next two deck which I do believe this deck is gonna be tier 1 potential because this is just a pain in everyone else the my GB destroyer the Galliator base this is also in one of my video so I will post a link at the end of the video be sure to take a look if you miss it I hope you guys like it do drop a like subscribe for more so I have 3 Lakari so what does this card does if I don't talk about normal summon as you know it's just the normal attack if it's special summon it becomes a 2100 attack so this is the highest monster in your deck so you know pretty good and we have Vesteri so special summon I can destroy any spell and trap in regardless of set or face up so this is a back row remover and I have Momiro. Momiro is if I special summon it I can destroy my opponent monster you got a front row remover and next we have Nimakari so this card when it's special summon I can attack twice so it have its own OTK potential Cosmic Cyclone has its own uh, use as a tag card to just destroy uh, banish any spell or trap card on the field for you to clear the back row 3 enemy controller against uh, Dikini and for protection 2 frag gate for protection 2 impenetrable attack for protection 2 wall disruption for protection basically this is like a babysitter deck you need to sick on it wait for it to grow and he one day will become a superman straight flush as a tech card there is so many players like to set 3 spell and trap spell and trap card on the field so straight flash gg all gone to the drain so we have three of this level eight or uh, i can special summon by three gallator beast Alice has his own effect and this is for two gallator beasts just this is from my special uh my extra deck so let's move on to the replay i hope you guys stay with me till now thankful for you guys without you without me i hope my content is good for you and feel free to leave a comment and subscribe so this is against a maximilian pegasus i think it's against a cyber angel deck so let's see how well this deck does against the tier one deck mito scan versus mito scan Duel. Okay, start with pretty good hand. Dimakari, Lakari, Enemy Controller, Cosmic. And definitely is a Cyber Angel. Dikini into his hand. I have Enemy Controller as I spoken. Dikini is very weak against early opponent with Enemy Controller. We shall see. So, some special summon Dimakari. Never special summon uh, Bestari because you will destroy your own back row. Never do that. That is not healthy. So next C, so he used Absolute Witcher to special shaman Dikini and I just enemy control wait for it, effect activated, take it and destroy it. And his turn, Fra uh, wall destruction set, the Makari changed to Lakari, he left with 2000 attack, let's see what else he kept under his sleeve, he end his turn. And I special summon for trolling him. GG. Good luck. Easy peasy. I still have 4000 life. Oh god. So let's see the pros and cons of this deck. Galliator Beast Mind Scan. 
the pros able to destroy front and back row by Mamilo and Bisteri. A pain in the ass. Honestly, I've been facing a lot of uh, GB deck in the ladder and it is a pain. I, I hope you guys feel the pain as I if you face against a GB deck. And it's a good counter attack deck. If you like to play counter attack, you are a counter attack player, be sure to use this deck. This deck suits you perfectly. But the cons is it heavily rely on back row. So let's say you break, you start with four or five or six monster. Basically you lose. There's no way for you to win unless the opponent break as well. And because of its low attacking monster, you need to have your back row for defense to play counter attack. So that's the pros and cons. But easily I pretty like this deck. I go 10 0 with this deck in my ladder cramp. So let's go on to the last deck of today, the Hazy Frame, which is also another growing deck with the new box release. And it's pretty spicy now. So I have two crazy hazy strategy. So Aroma strategy allows you to see your own card. Two frame tiger because I like its effect. I can special summon this if this card is in the graveyard for my tribute summon. So I have two centaur just to build up more fire cards. Oh, my beast, beast warrior wing beast to my uh, graveyard so I can use hazy frame effect. And I have Three hazy f frame phantom because this card is very good if I can basically send one fire monster from my hand to my graveyard tribute this card special summon to hazy frame from your deck so basically you have two either hazy frame simlinks or cyberus to your front row so I have two haze three hazy frame this is the call it allows you to special summon the card from your graveyard by declaring one cup type because of aroma strategy basically you are spot on 100% I just have one Maktiko because it is the highest attack here so 2200 I have just one just in case I need it 3 Cyberus and its effect is that if I destroy I can ascend to graveyard I can add one hazy card from my deck to my hand so I can get the boss out again 3 Beast Rising to able you to have more attack just to overpower your opponent to hazy treat hazy glory so what does this do cut does is that i can normal summon hazy frame monster for one less tribute and i can send this face up cut from the field to graveyard then target one hazy cut in your graveyard so pretty good pretty standard structure deck and the good thing about hazy frame is that you are immune to spell trap or monster effect that target your hazy frame so it is very 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 functional so i'm against weaver underwood no doubt about it i'm immune to massive morph straight away and i know that immune to mass of a curse immune to so much of things except lava golem so i love my strategy Start off with pretty good hand, Matiko, and I have Cyberus, Hazy Frame, Beast Rising, Jack Insect Whistle, just good, I can Tribute Summon, so good to me, but I miss Prey here, instead of Special Summon, I Normal Summon it, <laughs> so, ah, why not, it's okay, sometimes you make mistakes, he destroy me, not to worry, Cyberus, let me get out my boss, it's fine, but I got Prenton, so I use this effect to try to get two hazy frame to my front row. Activate my back row as well. Why not? I put uh, two other cards in face down because I'm worried about wall disruption. <laughs> but it's just half shot. It's all right. He attacked my Matiko. It's okay. I just banish it. I don't know. I'm just trolling him, telling him that I have this under control. And as you know, Beast Rising for 3800 attack in his face. Easy peasy like a cheesy hazy. Hazy hazy thing. So, let's take a look on the pros and cons. So, Hazy Frame Aroma Strategy, resistant to a lot of spell, trap, and effect, because that's the Hazy Frame effect. Fast summoning effect, 
because of the special effect by Hazy Frame. Potential 2200 attack and rising because of Beast Rising. What are the cons of this deck is that it's easy to get overpowered by opponent if I don't have Beast Rising as my back row. And there's a high chance of breaking because if let's say you just have all level 6 monster or all trap card, you can't really do much. And weak against counter trap like Mirror Wall, Wall Disruption because those are general trap, I can't neglect the effect. So that's, that will be all for today's video. Once again, I thank you guys for your support and your love for the past one month. Remember to drop a like for this video, leave your comments down below and subscribe and follow me on my Facebook for more content and updates. Have a good day, good afternoon, good night, signing off and peace.